Welcome back comic book fans to Comics Rediscovered. The gap between CGC and the competitors is shrinking. I don't even know if it exists anymore. So with all the various companies vying for your grading dollar, how do you decide where to send your grading? On today's video, I've got a comparison of the submission process and the pricing for CGC, CBCS, and PGX. So stick around for a complete view of submitting to each of these companies and how they might differ. First hurdle to getting your books graded is the submission process. Done poorly and it doesn't really inspire confidence and may even dissuade you from grading altogether. So here's my criteria for making a good submission process. Number one is ease of use. How user friendly is the experience? This is obviously the simplest and most upfront comparison that we can make. Number two is site navigation. All three companies use online submission forms, so it's certainly important to be able to find the form and use it successfully. Number three, options and restrictions. Submissions are never straightforward, so what kind of options are available when sending in your books? Also, what restrictions might you have? Once we've got all that covered, we will have a look at the cost for submission to each of these three companies. So each of the three companies offers an online submission form accessed right from their site. For CGC, you need to sign into the member area first. It is the only one of the three companies that requires a membership for submission. For special events, a free membership is enough. However, for general grading, you do need a paid membership. I currently have the $150 membership. CBCS has a button on top of their homepage. There's also an area to sign into your account. Accounts are free with the option of paying for some additional perks. I currently have the free account with CBCS. For CBCS, there's also a designated option if you're submitting from Canada. But in order to keep everything consistent for this experiment, I have submitted to the US office directly as I did for CGC and PGX. On the PGX page, you simply scroll to the bottom of the homepage for the submission form. As far as site navigation, I prefer CBCS for the fact that the button is right there and does not require being a paid member. However, for navigation alone, CBCS and CGC are both reasonable. They want your submissions. PGX is also easy to find, but at the time of recording and submitting, their site is ugly. It's a jumble mess that looks like it hasn't been updated after setting it up as a placeholder page. Unfortunately for PGX, this is the general theme of their site. Old, outdated, no polish. Once you're at the submission page, CGC and CBCS are both using a web form that populate as you fill in info. Sort of. We'll get to that in a second. Here again, PGX is outdated. The PGX page uses a fillable PDF form and it's not connected to any database the way that the others are, so it does not populate. It only records what you write, so hopefully your info isn't too far from correct. There's nothing special here. It's merely functional on PGX's end. CBCS will sort of populate some info. CGC will populate all of it. Like I said, sort of. I did have some trouble getting the right publication dates and things were real slow to load sometimes as well. It's a nice feature when it works properly, uh, a little bit of back and forth to get it working and it seems to be like it's still a bit of a work in progress, but I imagine it will get better and better. The CGC submission is the most polished and easy to use despite a few of these annoyances. So when looking at available options for your submission, it varies quite a bit from company to company. All of the companies offer the standard of adding a press, using a fast track or express service to get your books faster, as well as pre-screening. CGC has recently changed their policy with screen pre-screening on new modern books, so make sure you look into that. With CGC, you're also limited in pre-screening all of your books at the same grade level per invoice. Also, if you're submitting for a witness signature, that is done on a separate invoice and cannot be combined. With PGX and CBCS, they both offer pre-screening at various grades for your books. CBCS also offers the option of receiving a raw grade if the book doesn't meet your target. Verified signatures can also be combined onto the same invoice as normal submissions. However, witness signatures for CBCS are done separately. The one area CGC has a distinct advantage is with their custom labels. Although options are limited to what they feel is currently popular, they also aren't wrong. If you have a qualifying book, for example, a Spider-Man book like I submitted with the Marvel team-up, the option of a custom label appears for an extra $5, which I added. However, be warned, 
This does create an entirely separate submission and it will ship back to you by itself, not with the rest of your books. Neither of the other companies offer custom labels at this time and PGX is still too far behind. Upgrading the website and process should be a priority first for them. However, for CBCS, it should be something they consider adding to the options for their customers. I find there to be more flexibility on the CBCS system. It allows for more variation in options over CGC and PGX lags slightly behind both. So once you're done, all three use the same process of getting an invoice and summary to print and package with your books. I always print two, one for my records and one to send with the books. The invoice is standard fare, but here again, PGX looks a bit outdated compared to the other two. Although as an invoice, that's purely cosmetic and not a functional difference. Having a look at some of the invoice prices here, comparing head to head, it's pretty obvious. CGC is the most expensive, PGX is the cheapest, and CBCS is fit directly in between. So here's the pricing pages for CGC for comparison with CBCS. You can see quite a bit of a different layout. And then looking also at PGX with the most basic of the layouts. From here, we're gonna have a look at what it actually costs to send these books in. Looking at the various tiers, the most common tiers, at CGC, the modern grade comes in at $22, with $15 for a fast pass. $33 is the economy tier, anything before modern, and $120 for an express turnaround. At CBCS, we're looking at $18 for the modern, plus $10 fast track. $30 or $34 is the economy or consumer tier. And then they also offer a two-day modern or rapid, anywhere from $40 to $90. With PGX, we're looking at $14 for a modern, plus $6 for the fast track, $20 and $28 for the economy for the pre-1975 tier, and $40 is a next day. They say that is a three-day turnaround. So if we're looking at that and then comparing with what I paid, here's the price that I paid per book using the modern tier with fast track for each of the three companies. So all of the submissions were done with comparable options from the respective companies in order to accurately compare these books. The only difference being the $5 added for my custom CGC label on the one Spider-Man book. But we can disregard that for this comparison. The other thing to look at is shipping cost. It's atrocious to ship from the USA to Canada regardless, so let's not bother about that aspect too much. But without a doubt, the option from CGC was far and away more expensive for no discernible reason. Shipping the books to them, I used Canada Post Parcel and the cost was exactly the same for all three parcels. All three shipped via FedEx for return and the CGC price was double. Same number of books, same delivery location, same service, but they asked for more money. You can decide for yourself why that might be. Luckily, I have my own business account on FedEx, which I was able to use in order to get the prices to approximately match. So after submitting the books and having received them already, there's a few things that I've noticed. The custom label edition for CGC then forces the book into a different channel, which I didn't know ahead of time. It's not stated on the submission page that I saw when I was submitting my books. So I ended up paying double return shipping because that book is shipped separately from my other four. That was annoying. CGC also has no flexibility once the book is submitted. That means once you enter it into their system and press save, there seems to be an issue despite the fact they have what seems to be a robust database system to pull an invoice and adjust it on the fly before they start looking at the books. With CBCS and PGX, it seemed like there may have been some flexibility if I had a concern and could reach the customer service in time. That will be in another video looking at the customer service comparison. So where do we sit after the submission and pricing comparison? Before we get into it, leave a like if you've gotten something out of this breakdown and leave a comment below if you have a preference of using one of these grading companies over the other and why. For both the ease of use and the visual appeal, I think CGC is the best choice with CBCS as a toss up choice for the near comparable system for filing your submission and the flexibility that they have. For price, PGX. They blow CGC out of the water and they even undercut CBCS on the price. 
However, if you're going for an all-around experience and pricing, it has to be CPCS. They are solidly in the middle for pricing and just as easy to use as CGC. It simply lacks the same polish that makes for a more pleasing aesthetic of CGC. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button to follow along and get the rest of these comparisons. All of the unboxings are already up and the links will be down below. Next in the comparison, I will be looking at the turnaround times and the customer service. There's a lot to discuss there, so don't miss it. Thanks for watching.